Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel. My name is Vanessa and in today's video, guess what? Mag-unbox na naman tayo ng another gadget or item. At syempre, kita nyo naman sa akin likod. This is another TV unboxing video. And kung hindi nyo pa napapanood, last video I uploaded is about the Samsung AU8000. That is a 55-inch TV. Kung hindi nyo pa napapanood ang aking unboxing about that budget-friendly uh, TV, go ahead and visit my channel or I will put that link sa description box kung gusto nyo malaman kung kamusta naman ang quality ni Samsung AU8000. But this time, we are going to unbox this brand new TV from Hisense. And the model is the U7H series and this is also the 55-inch TV and ULED 4K na po siya. So kung gusto niyo po akong samahan, i-unbox at i-set up itong TV na to, then keep on watching. This is the Hisense TV na nakuha natin today. This is a ULED 4K TV. Meron na po siyang Netflix, YouTube, Prime Video, Disney+, Plus, HBO Max, at iba pa. And ang size po niya is 55 inch. And yung model niya is U7H series. Marami siyang feature guys. Kung makikita nyo nakasulat naman po sa ating box na meron siyang IMAX enhanced. Super nice siya for the watching movies. Dolby Vision IQ, Dolby Vision Atmos, meron na siyang DTS HD. Ang motion rate niya guys, oh, ano na to guys, 120 hertz. Kaya super exciting itong i-unbox. Meron na din siyang Google TV. So let's go, unbox na natin si Hisense. So, ayan guys, naka-open na ang ating box. Andito naman is yung, I think yung stand niya. So, ilabas natin. Tapos yung isa, meron din tayong, ayan, another stand. Ayan. So, ito guys, yung TV na to. Flat din naman siya. Ayan. So, alisin na natin. Ililift na natin tong TV out of the box. And of course, again, screen down dapat sa surface na malambot. So, ganyan guys. Kailangan ilatag yung TV na screen down and make sure na huwag nyong hahawakan or ipepress masyado yung screen niya. It will damage, of course, the TV quality. So, meron siyang border dito sa sides. Yun ang kailangan i-press nyo. Handle it with care para hindi masira yung TV. So, naka-plastic siya na ganyan and tatanggalin na rin natin siya to lift it up and i-set up sa ating TV uh, stand dito. Sa loob ng box, meron tayong dalawang um, stand. Ayan. Ayan. Kung mapapansin nyo, yung sa Samsung na in-unbox natin, hindi, wala na siyang mga screws na ganito. Ina-attach lang yung stand. But ito, this is different. Ayan o. Then, ito yung itsura ng remote ni Hisense. Meron siyang Ayan, mga easy to access streaming apps, Netflix, YouTube, mga ganon. And AAA battery, may kasama siya na ilalagay natin sa remote. So, ito yung manual guys. Ito yung ginawa natin. So, wag daw talaga hahawakan yung um, screen. Don't, I mean, don't press the screen when lifting the TV out from the box. Ito naman yung plug niya guys. Ayan. So, set up natin.
Next is yung left uh, stand. Ayan. Screw. So, screw lang natin na maigi sa loob. So, na-set up na natin yung TV. So, now, i-set up na natin from our remote sa screen. Ayan. So, let's continue the setup. Dito sa screen, there's a welcome note. And, of course, we're going to choose yung English. Ayan. And, we are from United States. And then, you can set up the Google TV or set up basic TV. So, Google TV natin. And, get ready with your phone kasi isi-set up natin siya. Okay. So, after nyo mag-connect sa inyong internet, you can start your smart TV by pressing the start selection right here. And then, of course, i-prepare natin yung ating remote. Sabi, press and hold the home and back buttons on the remote for more than 3 seconds. So, ito yung remote natin. And we are going to press the home, which is ito. Ito yung home, saka yung back buttons. For 3 seconds at the same time. And keep the remote and TV within 1 meter during the pairing process. So, na-pair na natin ang ating remote and then we're just gonna accept the user agreement and license policy. So, accept lang yan. Meron tayong selection. Talk to the Google Assistant even when the screen is off. So, now, the setup is complete. So, pwede na natin gamitin ang ating Hisense TV. So, this is what it looks like sa inyong home menu. Ayan. So, you can do live TV, yung local TV stations nyo. And, syempre, meron tayong Netflix, Prime, YouTube, na handiyan na lahat ng apps na kailangan ninyo. And, if you need to download, pwede din naman. This screen or this TV 
uh, you can also use this as your desktop kasi meron siyang browser. Yan. Pwede kayo mag-browse sa internet. Yan. And you can use your Google as your browser. And yan. Pwede kayo mag-browse dyan. O ba ang ganda para nyong, para siyang desktop. Actually, this Hisense TV specific um, model, pwede siyang gawin as your gaming um, display. Kasi 120 hertz na rin to, guys. So anyway, let's go back to home uh, screen. Kasi gusto ko lang ipakita sa inyo yan. <laughs> and you can also do screen sharing. Kung meron kayong um, laptop or um, desktop computer, pwede i-share or i-pair yung screen sa TV. Yan. So, napakaganda. So now, let's check the quality. So, na-unbox na natin si Hisense. This is the U7H 55-inch TV. And, ayan, pinapakita ko na sa inyo sa aking background yung quality niya. And again, this is the Hisense U7H series. And this model came 2022 already. So, this year lang siya, guys. Bagong-bago. And the reason why I am sharing you this TV is because there's so many features na pwede niyang ibigay sa'yo. And for the value... Guys, sobrang budget-friendly siya for me, in my opinion. Let's go and talk about the specs. So, itong TV na to, sobrang packed siya with features. A lot of features that actually compatible for um, tech uh, people, for content creators, for gamers. Kasi pwede nyo siyang gawin as your desktop um, display. And pwede kayong mag-gaming dyan. Sobrang dali din niyang i-setup kung makikita nyo sa aking previews clips. Sobrang bilis lang niya talagang i-setup. And lahat ng settings niya ay super compatible with the Android users, even for the Apple users as well. Ako guys, Apple user ako. I have my iPhone and wala naman ako naging problema setting up this TV. Lahat ng, um, lahat ng streaming apps ay nakonect ko agad-agad dito sa TV na to. ULED technology na siya and it improves the picture, the depth. Clarity, yung color niya, sobrang ganda na din, guys. It delivers a unique experience that is found only in the Hisense ULED television. So, gaya na sinabi ko din kanina, it is a Google TV. So, very compatible siya uh, when browsing Google. And also, yung, uh, yung voice assist niya, guys, pwede yung si Hey Google, ganon. Tapos, um... 4K TV na din siya, and ang pinakamaganda at pinakahinahanap talaga namin sa TV is yung Hertz, yung bilang ng Hertz niya. And this one offers you the 120 Hertz. For the gamers, it offers you the Dolby Vision. Tapos meron din siyang, um, it lowers the blurriness when it comes to motion. Sobrang stable niya. And when it comes to motion, sobrang na-eliminate niya yung blurriness. And since 120Hz siya, hindi kayo may hilo kapag meron mga fast movements na nagaganap sa video na pinapanood nyo. Another feature na hinahanap din namin is yung black is black. So kapag dark yung scene, talagang dark siya. Wala kayong makikita parang grayness or low contrast yung effect niya. So, itong TV na to, pwede nyo siyang i-customize. Sobrang daming um, features na pwede nyo i-control. Yung contrast, yung brightness, um, yung tint, yung dim lights niya, mga ganun. So, marami pang iba. And, uh, yun ang nagustuhan ko dito sa Hisense TV. Okay, and next is, again, yung minention ko kanina is yung Dolby Vision gaming niya. Of course, since nag-offer siya ng Dolby Vision, sobrang matutuwa ang mga gamers gamit itong Hisense TV na to. Picture quality, sound quality, 
sobrang cinematic na yung dating niya. Hindi ako nag exage guys. Pero yung overall uh, package niya is very good na talaga for the price. We didn't pay $1,000 for this TV. And syempre, yung mga ganung klaseng TV na super expensive, syempre talagang maganda, as in super maganda na talaga yung specs niya compared dito. And I wouldn't compare that on those kind of TVs kasi sobrang on top of the line na yung mga TV na yun. But this one, for its price, masasabi ko sa inyo, sobrang sulit na siya. So, next is, marami siyang mga modes when it comes to video effects. So, meron siyang filmmaker mode, meron siyang cinematic mode. Alam niyo yun, yung mga uh, vivid effect na colors, talagang super vibrant colors. Or, pwede niyo naman iset ang inyong TV into a standard mode, di ba? So, yun, is, yun ay depende talaga sa kung how do you want to watch your uh, videos dito sa TV na to. When it comes naman sa kanyang design, makikita nyo super slick din. Manipis lang din ang kanyang um, yung screen. But if I am going to compare this to my previous unboxing video na Samsung, mas manipis yung Samsung TV kesa dito. Medyo makapal lang siya ng konting konting konte kesa sa Samsung. But still, it eliminates the clutter kasi sobrang nipis lang din niya. Yung stand niya, I think it's very sturdy kasi uh, we attached it with screws. Unlike sa Samsung, parang kiniklip lang siya and super dali lang niya sa Samsung. But then, I'd rather use this kind of stand na may screw kasi alam mong napaka-sturdy niya at hindi siya uh, makakalas. Parang ganun. Sa voice remote naman guys, ayan o. Oh. So, kita nyo naman, of course, meron siyang mga buttons for our streaming app na favorite natin. Netflix, YouTube, mga ganyan. Meron ng Disney Plus sa Pilipinas. So, you can take advantage of this remote um, using your favorite streaming apps. And, of course, meron siyang Google uh, Voice Assistant. Si Hey Google, yan. Ito yon yung white na nasa on top of the remote. Very responsive din. Wala kaming uh, na-experience na delay when it comes to uh, pressing the remote right to left or going on the settings. Parang napaka-responsive niya talaga guys. Walang delay at all. So yeah, since this is a 4K TV, it supports already the 2160p resolution. And um, halos nakaka-compete na siya sa ibang mga TV ngayon. Um, and this is the latest TV. This is 2022 uh, released. So, talagang I highly, highly recommend kung kayo ay on a budget. Since this is a ULED TV, superior ang kanyang brightness and meron siyang high color contrast and and napansin ko din na mas maganda ang viewing mo kapag nakaupo ka sa center. So, kapag nasa gilid ka or what, medyo Okay lang siya, pero the best pa rin is kung nakaupo kayo sa center ng TV na to. Okay, so punta naman tayo sa price. Ang price na nabili namin for this TV is $499. And that is also the same as the Samsung TV. But if I am going to compare which one is better, I'd still stick to the Hisense. Kasi mas madami siyang uh, features kesa sa Samsung and yung... Uh, hertz niya, 120 hertz guys. So, sobrang okay na okay yun para sa isang TV for that value, for that price. Whereas, kung kayo naman ay, again, budget-friendly, tapos naghahanap kayo ng branded, syempre, you can go for Samsung. Maganda din naman si Samsung. Um, but yeah, it really still depends on you. But for me, I would say na to compare both, eto, dito ako. So, ayan guys, dito na po nagtatapos ang ating video, ang ating unboxing of the Hisense U7H series. Sana nagustuhan nyo itong video na ito. And syempre, don't forget hit that like button kung gusto nyo pa ng mga ganitong unboxing natin. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel kung hindi pa kayo nagsasubscribe. I'll see you on my next one. Bye!